Welcome to dealing with materials data. This course is on collection analysis and interpretation of materials data. We have completed two modules. First one was the introduction to R, the second one was descriptive statistics using R. And in this module we are going to learn about probability distributions and how to use R to understand probability distributions and work with them. So this is the um, objective of this module. We want to understand probability distributions and their properties. The properties include density, distribution function and quantile function. We want to learn about common discrete probability distributions such as Bernoulli, binomial, hypergeometric and uh, Poisson for example. And we want to learn about common continuous probability distributions like normal, error function, log normal and Weibull for example. We want to learn about discrete and continuous uniform probability distribution. So uniform probability distribution can be either discrete or continuous. So we want to learn about uniform probability distribution. Uh, because it plays a key role in some of the simulations uh, that we have been carrying out and in order to understand what these simulations are, it is important to understand uh, uniform probability distribution. We will also learn about some common continuous probability distributions which are derived from normal uh, such as chi square t and f distributions because these distributions are very useful in um, making parameter estimations or in understanding. Uh, hypothesis testing. So they are of uh, great use in hypothesis testing for example. So we will learn about them. We will also learn about gamma and beta probability distributions. So they have some use and relevance in uh, inference. So we will uh, learn about them. And uh, from material science uh, we do know that there are classical and quantum statistical distributions. Uh, Maxwell Boltzmann is a classical one, Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein are the uh, quantum uh, statistical distribution. So we will have some exposure to them also um, in the same schema of things uh, what are these distributions and how do they look and things like that we will learn. And we will also learn how to uh, generate random variates from any of these distributions uh, for doing computations and calculations. All of this uh, we want to do using R and of course using materials uh, data. So we will use materials data sets wherever possible or examples will be from um, materials wherever possible. And um, we will also discuss what is the expectation in terms of probability distributions, uh, when and why one should use normal, when and why one should use log normal and so on. So there are uh, cases where we know a priori that uh, the best distribution to describe the given data uh, is Weibull for example or uh, hypergeometric for example. So we will discuss some of these cases and uh, so we will understand uh, um, these issues better and also how to deal with them using R or how to work with these using R. And uh, one more thing that we are going to do is that uh, even though we are doing probability distribution now, we have used some of these ideas in the previous module for example. So after going through this probability distribution session, we are going to revisit some of the exercises to better understand what we did earlier. Uh, for example, we have tried to fit the empirical data to some of the distributions. Uh, so after understanding these distributions, we will go back and see what the fitting exercise was and what did we get and how do we understand those results a little bit better. So that is what we are going to do in this module. So this is the third module on probability distributions using R. Thank you.